are y'all ready for the 4th of July? Do you have dogs? Do you have cats? I don't know if cats are afraid of fireworks or not, but dogs certainly are. And I saved your, your pet's life during the 4th of July holiday, which already started because fireworks are going off like crazy in my neighborhood. If you're interested in this, if you have a dog, even if you've never, if they've never shown any fear of fireworks, please watch this. Okay, now, even if your dog has never shown any signs of being afraid of fireworks, there's something that you need to know. You need to know that the 4th of July is the most dangerous holiday for dogs running away. And listen to this. The 4th of July represents the worst day for lost pets as dogs attempt to escape fire frightening sounds. And those panic flights are dangerous. Many dogs will not stop running during fireworks until they are completely exhausted, injured, or killed. Dogs, maybe you've never had a dog like climb a fence or, you know, jump a fence or anything like that. But perhaps you're in a new area or perhaps someone moved into your, your area who, like for me, fireworks are illegal where I live, except the fireworks that they put on out on the lake. However, last night, as we were getting ready to go to bed around dark, yes, I go to bed really early, but around dark, fireworks were going off and my dogs were scared. Now, one of my dogs can barely hear. And the thing about it is dogs can hear way better than we can, right? They can hear everything. So you need to be aware of that. And you need to be aware of what they said here that the dogs will just keep running. Um, I had a roommate one time, her dog jumped the fence during, I think it was Memorial Day fireworks and ran and ran and ran and ended up miles away when he was found and he was okay. But you just, you, that's a big risk. You know, a dog running out in the streets, they can get hit, they can get, you know, somebody might grab them, they might want your dog. And so you have to prepare about some things that you can do to uh, keep your dog safe on any of the holidays that have fireworks. But the 4th of July seems to be the worst and you don't want to, you don't want to lose your dog. It's an article from the American Kennel Club, and it is how to keep your dog calm during fireworks. First of all, keep your dogs away from the fireworks. If you have fireworks going around your home, people are out in the street shooting off fireworks, which is illegal. Okay, stop people. And I used to live in a, a bigger city, and it was so bad. It, it felt like we were in a war zone. I've never been in a war zone. But that's how I felt. And I had several dogs at the time and they were terrified. So, you know, you, you got to keep them in the house. You've got to keep, if you go out on a leash, take them out on a leash. You need to be really careful because they get so afraid, you know, when adrenaline's a big thing and it can just pull them away. They might, you might not have a grip on the leash. They might get away with their leash on. Then their leash can get caught up in stuff and they can get stuck somewhere like out in the woods or something and not be able to get to water. But for one thing you need to do, and I know it's it's only a week away till the 4th of July holiday, but get some kind of pet ID for your dog. The best thing you could do is get your dog microchipped, but you also need a caller with their name and, you know, your name, your phone number, however they can get it, however they can reach you. And because if your dog gets away with their collar on, your neighbor may find your dog and then your neighbor can call you immediately instead of having you wait till the next day or the you know after the weekend or whenever to go get your microchip checked so you need to basically your dogs need to be microchipped that's the main thing and you have time now and a lot of places do these microchippings for a big discount and it's not really that expensive anyway to, to think it's your pet you know your love your your friend um, you can, when the fireworks are going off, you can play, you know, this says white noise or TV or anything. My air conditioners are really loud. And so that mutes a lot of it. Uh, like I can't always hear it, but dogs hear way like hundreds of times better than we do. And you don't want your dog to be hearing these fireworks because they're terrified. If I take my dogs outside during the fireworks, they 
you know, all they want to do is, is huddle next to me. And fortunately, my two little dogs don't try to run. They can't. They can't get out. Um, I've lived in this house five years and I know my fence, my fence is ugly and, and, you know, not the best thing. But these two dogs, no, they're not going to get out. They're going to run to me. But that's my luck. Um, there are, you know, things you could do in preparation that you probably can't get done in a week. But um, behavioral stuff, you know, you can take your dog to a trainer. Comfort your dog, you know, stay with them. Let them get in your lap if they're a lap dog. If they are just, you know, shaking and, and freaking out, basically, you're in the house with them. Try to distract them. Try to be calm yourself because they pick up on our dogs pick up on our uh, emotion but you should comfort your dog and don't get on to them or ignore them you need to you know however you naturally comfort your dog you need to do that and let's see what else they say uh, yeah if you talk in a weird way to your dog uh, and get loud and do all these weird things when the fireworks are going off they're gonna pick up on your tone so what you need to do is just be normal, be normal, just talk to them, try to soothe them, pet them, however you soothe your dog. Um, if their comfy place is, if you know, if they're dogs that you crate, you can put them in their crate, that's where they feel safe. Uh, you can just take them anywhere they, they, they feel safe. My dogs feel safe in my arms, so most of the time that's where they would be. But I would say try to, you know, have your TV up louder than normal. Um, but, you know, if you have a younger dog, they're going to most likely hear the fireworks. Uh, and they're, a lot of them are going to be afraid. And like I said, you don't want them running away. That's the worst thing that can happen. Check their uh, collars or their harness and make sure that it's, you know, not going to come off it's like, and, and the thing, too, is my friend's dog that jumped the fence, when he jumped the fence, his collar got caught in the fence, which could actually strangle your dog. But his collar got caught and was still there. So he was running the streets with no collar. You can desensitize your dog to the sounds of fireworks. If you, you know, if you think they're going to freak out, try playing sounds of fireworks so your dog can you get used to hearing them. The volume should be kept low enough that your dog can notice it, but does not show signs of stress like panting, pacing, leaving the area, or trying to hide. Talk to your vet because you can get some medications that will calm your dog, maybe even make them go to sleep, you know, be sleepy. And there are calming treats or supplements, fireworks, but it's when those fireworks are really in the neighborhood that get them. And it sounds like somebody's pew pew and you know in your backyard and so it's very scary you love your dog you want to keep your dog safe please take care of them during this upcoming holiday every holiday and every day because shelters are full they're overflowing i can't even imagine what it'll be like after the fireworks next week they don't have room we need every one of you to protect your Protect your pets during this time and keep them safe and do whatever you know, whatever you can do to keep your dog safe. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button so it can get out to more people. We got to get this out today so that more people can prepare for the holiday. Have a great 4th of July and enjoy it and keep your dog safe.